as you guys can tell i'm obsessed with making pasta dishes so here's another one um here's how i make my gochujang chicken pasta so if you've never heard of gochujang before and this is your first time gochujang is basically a red chili paste the paste is like somewhat sweet savory and also kind of spicy and it's literally perfect with a number of different types of dishes so the gochujang that i'll be using is halal and um, i found it on a website i'll add the link in the caption and i also found it at a very good reasonable price as well so first you start off by marinating your chicken so instead of using normal salt i'm going to be using Szechuan salt instead and um, since using the salt it has actually brought out a whole different flavor in my cooking i'm not entirely sure where i bought it from but i will have a look and see if i can find it the next ingredient i'll be adding is chili flakes once the chili flakes are in i then also added in some gochujang the texture and consistency of the gochujang is really thick which is perfect for marinades and then adding the gochujang to the chicken as a part of this recipe was like a whole different type of flavour. And then to finish off the marinade for the chicken and then also added in some garlic. You can allow the chicken to marinate overnight in the fridge but I just prefer to just cook it straight away. So once the chicken is done, in a separate pan add in some olive oil and allow it to become hot on a high to medium heat. Once your oil has heated up, add in your chicken. Since these pieces of chicken are cut really small, they won't take that long to cook. So now your chicken is in the pan, make sure to keep the heat on a medium to high. Because as you can see, some parts of the chicken are going white and that's how you want all of your chicken to be. If you do feel like your chicken is browning way too quickly or becoming white too quickly then simply just turn the heat a bit lower. And then when your chicken looks a little bit like this, add on the lid and allow it to cook for 8 to 10 minutes on a low heat. I was also going to say if you want to add more gochujang, this is the right time to add it into your chicken. Um, it will make the chicken a lot more red and bring out a lot more flavour. So after the 15 minutes of cooking your chicken, it is finally done. Remove the chicken from the pan and then in the same pan, it's time to cook in your sauce. So in the same pan, add in a little bit more olive oil along with your onions. Slightly brown the onions on a medium to low heat. Considering the chicken was cooked in the pan before, you will notice that there'll probably be some garlic left over and you don't want the onions to burn. So do keep the heat on low. Like I noticed in this case, my onions did start slightly burning. I just added in a little bit of water, make sure to mix it and make sure the heat is on low and slowly mix until they become soft. So once the onions are done, it's then time to add in your gochujang. Also make sure that your heat is on low. So when your onions and your gochujang are mixed all together, the next part is to add in your double cream. Also make sure your heat is on low because you don't want anything to burn. At this point your sauce is done and then it's then time to add in your chicken. Make sure to give the chicken a good mix and then once it's mixed I also added in an extra tablespoon of the gochujang. Also the main part of cooking, make sure you taste your sauce before adding in your pasta to see if you need to add 
any more gochujang or any more salt or any kind of seasonings that you like and then the last part of the dish is to add in your boiled pasta and you're basically done you can choose any type of pasta that you do like i normally use penne pasta um, but i thought i'd change it up and use rigatoni pasta instead And yeah, this is how I make my very quick and easy chicken gochujang pasta. And up on my channel, on the community section, I did actually add a poll on what pasta you guys would like me to make. And the highest vote was spaghetti bolognese, so I definitely will make that in my next pasta video.